And this morning we are kicking off a special series, Secret Filth Exposed. It's about those nasty germs that come from places you come in contact with almost every day. Today, consumer correspondent Janice Lieberman is here with all of the dirty details. Good morning, Janice. Yucky job. Yes. <laughs> with a five-month-old baby, I know whatever he touches ends up in his mouth. It turns out one of the dirtiest places he can be is in my shopping cart at my local supermarket. So before you head out on your next shopping trip, here's what we found lurking on grocery carts from coast to coast. Germs, 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 They're one of the germiest things you or your children will ever touch. Grocery carts are literally germs on wheels. You don't know who's been in the cart and you don't know if they've had germs and they pass, get my kids sick. Especially during cold and flu season, we would be at the store and two days later, we'd be in the pediatrician's office because someone had a virus or something. The next time you take a spin through the grocery aisles, consider this. The average cart could be contaminated with up to one million germs. Those invisible nasty bugs gravitate mainly to the handle and the basket, where many of us put our fresh produce and diaper-aged kids. They could be vectors, really, for influenza, staph, MRSA viruses. You'd find these on common surfaces that people touch a lot. Chuck Gerba is a leading yeah, expert yeah. on germs found in public places, earning him the nickname Dr. Germ. It's really amazing to us that you can come across more fecal bacteria on a shopping cart than you can most public restrooms. In fact, Gerber studies found that shopping carts rank third behind playgrounds and public transit handrails when it comes to germ exposure. We wanted to find out just how germy <laughs> shopping carts really are. So we dispatched our own team of today germ finders from coast to coast to find out gathering bacteria off random carts from California to Maine. It seems so nice sitting here. In Atlanta, Maria Creasy agreed to let us swab the cart she was using with 10-month-old Jack. And of course, there's germs and everything, but, you know, it uh, makes me more, more resistant. <laughs> I think he needs to get used to it. All of our samples were sent to Dr. Gerber's lab at the University of Arizona for testing. Iowa. Georgia. Georgia. Wow. Three days of scientific study later, some alarming results. In the samples taken by the Today Show, we found E. coli on most of the shopping carts. So wherever they're going shopping, I'm not going to go. All of the samples we took contain coliform, bacteria which usually indicates the presence of fecal material. Even more disturbing, approximately 40 to 90 percent of the carts we sampled tested positive for E. coli, which can cause severe intestinal infections, bad cramps, and diarrhea, which is especially harmful in young children. Maria Creasy's cart was among those containing E. coli. It is upsetting to see those results. I would not want him to pick it up. Many stores now provide antibacterial wipes next to the carts. And in Phoenix, this Bash's grocery has taken its war against germs even further. Secret filth exposed as consumers look for a less risky ride through the aisles. Germs, 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 germs.